We've helped black labs, boxers, spaniels and havanese, shih tzus, wolfhounds, staffies, jacks and pekinese, long hairs, short hairs, gingers and bengals, burmese, siamese, persians and ragdolls, lionheads, harlequins, papillons and silver fox, cashmere, sables, alaskans and mini lops, half-breeds, cross-breeds, mongrels and pedigrees, marmalades, tortoiseshells, moggies, tabbies, balinese. Over the past 36 years, Pet Plans helped more pets through more accidents and illnesses than any other pet insurer. Every pet deserves Pet Plan. Rodney Oldham. Rodney has made up 13 champions in Chow Chows, a breed that he has owned and bred since he was a lad of just 15 years of age. Rodney is approved to all CCs in 37 breeds across the utility, working, pastoral and toy groups and he also judges best in show at championship show level. A good friend to Windsor, Please extend a very warm Windsor welcome to Rodney Oldham. And the first thing we're going to do is to see a lap of honour from the import register, the Korean Jindo. So as we commence the group proper, the first of the winning best of breeds is the Akita, followed by the Boston Terrier, followed by the Bulldog, and the Dalmatian, the French Bulldog, the German Spitz Klein, the German Spitz Little, the Japanese Shiba Inu, the Japanese Spitz, the Kayshold, the Laza Apso, the Miniature Schnauzer, the Miniature Poodle, the Standard Poodle, the Toy Poodle, and the Skippy the Schnauzer, the Zarpe, the Shih Tzu, the Tibetan Spaniel, and the Tibetan Terrier. So, as the dogs move round into place, and before Rodney takes a first look at all of these best of breed winners. Let me take this opportunity to explain a little about the best of breed winners that we see before us. With breeds spanning across the globe from Asia, the Middle East, North America and Europe, this group sees a wide diversity in continental origin and a really interesting mix of shape and size and function. These utility breeds make up one of the most cosmopolitan of the seven groups at Windsor this year. From the tall Akita to the small Tibetan Spaniel, the smooth-coated Boston, the heavy-set Bulldog, to the athletic Dalmatian, variety is very definitely the spice of life in the utility group. Used for hunting black bear and wild boar, for tracking and retrieving game, for working the barges of Holland and for herding stock in the fields of China and Tibet, we now see a really interesting variety of function in the utility breeds too. So, let's hear a warm round of applause for these best of breed winning utility dogs. So the first of the breeds for Rodney to examine a little more closely is the Akita. 
Maria Harding was the judge of Akitas. Maria had an entry of 37. It was the dog, 5261, that was chosen as her best of breed representative. This is the tallest breed of the group. A large Spitz type breed of dog originating in the mountainous northern regions of its Japanese homeland, where it's one of the country's most popular breeds. The Akita can be traced back to the ancient Matagai dog, dating back over some 300 years. It's been bred for hunting a variety of game, including the black bear, the wild boar and deer. Put your hands together for the best of breed winning Akita, 5261. 5261, the Akita dog. So the first of the dogs on the table is the Boston Terrier. Maria's husband, Paul Harding, was the judge of Boston Terriers and Paul had an entry of 54. This time he chose a bitch, 5336. 5336, the best of breed winning Boston Terrier. This breed has been described as a true Yankee Doodle Dandy and takes its name from the city of Boston in the eastern United States of Massachusetts where it was first shown in the late 19th century. The Boston Terrier became the first breed acknowledged by the Kennel Club of America and was also the first non-sporting dog bred in the USA too. The best of breed winning Boston Terrier, five, double, three, six. Diana Phillips was our judge of the Bulldogs today and Diana had 111 Bulldogs. It was another bitch, five, three, six, three, to come through to represent the Bulldogs tonight in our utility group. The British Bulldog is a great national favorite associated with the legendary John Bull was first mentioned in literature as far back as the 16th century. The Bulldog has also been connected with one of our greatest statesmen, Sir Winston Churchill, and has been much reproduced on collectible memorabilia throughout the years. The first Bulldog Club in the UK was established in late Victorian times in 1878, with the first breed standard written in 1894. 5-3-6-3, the best of breed winning Bulldog bitch. Next we see the Dalmatian. Malcolm Smith was the judge of Dalmatians. Malcolm had 92 Dallies, as they're known. He selected the dog 5449. That's 5449. It's said that the breed's roots go back to Dalmatia, a region of Croatia as far back as the 18th century. The distinctive black or liver spotted Dalmatian became known as the carriage dog in the Regency period. It was his athletic build that meant that the Dali could run alongside all types of carriages, coaches and even horse-drawn fire engines of the day. A sporting dog, his stamina and fitness make this the marathon runner of the utility group. The best of breed winning Dalmatian, 5449. This is a further call for utility puppies, please. The utility puppy group is being prejudged in rings 14 and 15. Francis Kral was the judge of the French Bulldog that we see on the table. 
Francis had no trio of 111 identical to the Bulldogs. She selected a dog, double 597, as her best of breed winner. The origin of the modern French Bulldog descends directly from dogs of the Molossians, an ancient Greek tribe. Despite his name, it's believed that the Frenchie, as he's often referred to, is partly British. During the 19th century, lace makers from the Midlands were known to have taken small bulldogs with them when they went to work in France. The now known French Bulldog was reintroduced to the United Kingdom around the turn of the century, first being shown around 1900 and a French Bulldog Club was formed a few years later in 1903. The bat ear is a distinctive feature of this charming breed. Double five, nine seven, the French Bulldog. Ernie Patterson was the judge of the German Spitz Klein. There were 28 German Spitz Klein, and it was the bitch, 5669, that was chosen as the best of breed winner. German Spitz are thought to have descended from the Nordic Samoyed and Lapland, brought over to Germany by the Vikings in the Middle Ages. German Spitz have a double coat, consisting of a soft undercoat and a longer, harsh textured and straight top coat. Note the triangular ears and a tail that curls over the back. Fifty-six, sixty-nine. the German Spitz Klein And he was also our judge of the German Spitz Mittel. There were 27 Mittels, and it was another bitch chosen, number 5694. The German Spitz Mittel is a larger version of the Klein that we've just seen. Mittel, or middle as the word translates from German, Spitz type dogs were associated with hunter gatherers from as far back as the Stone Age. Originally used as guarding or hunting dogs, they're intelligent, alert, very active, and often very vocal too. They love human companionship and make excellent members of a busy family. Fifty six ninety four, the German Spitz Metal. Mike Vincent judged the Japanese Shiba Inu. There were fifty three here today. It was a dog that Mike chose. Five seven five three. Another Japanese dog, similar in appearance to the Akita. This breed is much smaller in stature. In Japanese, the word Shiba means brushwood, an emu dog. And the Shiba is indeed an agile dog that copes very well with mountainous, bushy terrain. The Shiba Inu was used for hunting small game such as birds and rabbits.
Shibuina is an intelligent and alert personality. His handy size not only makes him one of the most popular dogs in his native Japan, but he's fast becoming popular here too. The best of breed winning Japanese Shiba Inu. 57-53. Another of the Spitz family, and another from Japan, the Japanese Spitz. Gene Fraser was the judge. It was the dog, 5764, chosen from an entry of 12. Distinctive in its standoff, brilliant white coat, this contrasts with its black pads and nails, the black nose and dark eyes. Developed in the 1920s and 1930s in Japan, the breed was seen in Sweden in the 1950s and from there into the UK in the 1970s. Reed was first recognised by the Kennel Club in the Silver Jubilee year of 1977. Put your hands together for the Japanese Spitz, 5764. Moving on to another Spitz type breed, the Kayshorned. Robin Newhouse judged the Kayshorns. Robin had an entry of 40 and chose the bitch, 5802, to represent the breed in the group. Originally known as the Wolf Spitz, the Kayshorned, as we know him, was named after the 18th century Dutch patriot Cornelius de Gisselaar. His nickname was Kays, the leader of the rebellion against the House of Orange. Add K's to the Dutch word for dog, which is hond, and we arrive at the K's hond. Known for its work on the barges of Holland, the K's hond is a dog that loves exercise, and his harsh top coat and soft undercoat means that he can withstand the harshness of Arctic temperatures too. Five eight zero two, the best of breed winning case on it. John Skull was the judge of the Lazar Apsos. There were 78 Lazars here today and it was the dog 5845 chosen as the best of breed winner. Lazars, the capital of Tibet, and Apso translates to bearded, so we can see the connection here. This ancient breed's primary function was that of a household sentinel, guarding the homes of Tibetan nobility and Buddhist monasteries. His long, hard coat was vital for his survival in the harsh winters of the high altitude climate where they lived. The Lhasa was introduced into the UK in the early 1920s. Since then, the breed has become a popular show dog, with a breed club being established in 1933. Five, eight, four, five, the best of breed winning Lhasa Apso. <laughs> Hannah Houchin was the judge of miniature schnauzers. Hannah had an entry of 34. She chose a dog. 5919 as her best of breed winner. 
breed from Germany, as the name suggests. Miniature schnauzers were developed at the end of the 19th century when it was first seen in the show ring in 1899. The Kennel Club first recognised the breed in 1948. They were originally bred to be farm dogs, mainly to keep rats and other vermin out of the barns. The eyebrows and beard of the miniature schnauzer are unmistakable and the handy size and super temperament of this breed make him very, very popular. Five nine one nine, the best of breed miniature schnauzer dog. Now we see the first of our three poodle varieties, the miniature poodle. Peter Young was the judge. Peter had 52 and chose the dog. 5954 is his best of breed winner. Many people associate poodles with France and the characteristic French poodle, but in actual fact, Germany was their original home. The English word poodle comes from the German word poodle or puddle which translates to splash in the water. Poodles indeed do have a history as a water retrieving dog and have even been known to search and find that highly prized gourmet delicacy, the truffle. The Miniature Poodle 5954. Now we see the Standard Poodle. Wayne Cavett was the judge today. Wayne had 27 standards and chose another dog, 5994. Intelligence and quickness to learn are traits of all the poodles and they enjoy nothing more than showing off which make them real performers and eye catchers in the big ring. It's easy to see the substance of this breed, one that enjoys nothing more than good exercise and if there's water about, even a quick swim too. Their friendly and happy disposition makes the standard a very popular household member, as are all the poodles. The best of breed winning standard poodle, 5994. Angela Corish was the judge of the toy poodle. Angela had 53 toys. It was the bitch 6023 that she chose. The toy is the smallest of the poodle varieties. The fact that poodles have a coat that doesn't mould has long been thought another reason for their popularity in the home. The show clip really makes these dogs stand out in the crowd.
These little dogs have really big personalities and it's really hard not to understand their great appeal. The best of breed winning Toy Poodle 6023. This is a further call for all remaining utility puppy winners, please. You are being judged as we talk in rings 14 and 15. Ernie Patterson's had a busy day today. He also judged the Skipper Kids with an entry of 32 and chose the bitch 6086 as his best of breed winner. One of the smallest Spitz breeds, first recognized in the 1880s, and another originating from the Low Countries. The Skipperkey was known to have worked the barges of Holland and Belgium. In fact, he had three jobs abroad. Security, barking if unknown persons approached, keeping the barges free from vermin, and nipping the heels of the horses pulling the barges to keep them moving. It was a skipper key called the Duchess that was a character used in the famous Beatrix Potter stories. The best of breed winning skipper key, 6086. Bill, Bill Brown Cole judged the Stoutsers. Bill had an entry of 35. He chose a dog, 6095, as his best of breed winner. Standing at 19 inches at the shoulder, the original Stoutser from which the, develop, the miniature and the giant were developed in the late 19th century. This breed was the all-round farm dog known for chasing vermin, droving and guarding, even known to pull a cart to market too. The famous owners of the breed include the artist Rembrandt and Sir Joshua Reynolds. The best of breed winning Schnauzer 6095. Paul Harding just as our pays today, and Paul had 34 our pays to consider. He chose another dog, which was 6139, as his best of breed winner. This is another ancient breed originating from the Guangdong province of China. They were originally used for herding cattle and guarding the home and family. They've proven themselves to be qualified hunters of wild game too. Easily recognized by their wrinkles, Zarpei, when translated, means sand skin or shark skin. And this uniquely rough or harsh coat is a superb feature of the breed. The best of breed winning Zarpe, 6139. John Carter was the judge of Shih Tzu's. John had an entry of 88 and chose the bitch, 6206, as his best of breed winner. Another ancient breed, the Shih Tzu, was introduced from Tibet to China in the mid-18th century and lived in the imperial palaces there. 
They were first seen in the United Kingdom in 1931, with the first breed standard being written in 1935. In England, during the Art Deco 1930s, the Shih Tzu was nicknamed the Chrysanthemum Dog. In other parts of the world, it was referred to as the Tibetan Lion Dog. The best of breed winning Shih Tzu number 6206. Six, Bridget Croucher was the judge of Tibetan Spaniels and Bridget had an entry of 75. She chose the dog, 6263, as her best of breed winner. This is another breed popularised in the monasteries of Tibet, Tibet, where they were known as little lions. They proved themselves great watchdogs. Their alarm barking matched with their keen eyes and their ability to see great distances meant that they certainly and their keep. Tibetan Spaniel was one of the first of the Tibetan breeds to arrive in the United Kingdom in the early 1900s, brought here by returning medical missionaries. The best of breed winning Tibetan Spaniel, 6263. So the last of the 21 best of breed winners on the table now is the Tibetan Terrier. It had a judge from Holland, Pamela Rundekamp, judging the breed today. Pamela had an entry of 102. She chose a dog, 6396, as her best of breed winner. The tallest of the Tibetan breeds, and despite his terrier name, he was in fact a herding dog, and their short-footedness allowed them to double as a guard dog for the traders as they travelled across the Himalayas. Thought to be the holy dog of Tibet, his boundless energy and outgoing personality means that he loves plenty of exercise. History reputes this breed to have been called the Lucky Temple Dog, and nobody in Old Tibet would ever sell their TT for fear of selling away their luck in life. The best of breed winning Tibetan Terrier, 6396. So Rodney's having one last look at these 21, 21 best of breed winners. There were 1,197 uh, utility breeds here today, uh, utility dogs here today across the 21 breeds. So the first of the shortlisted dogs is the Akita. Second, French Bulldog. Then the German Spitz Klein. Then the Kaisun and the Lazarapsu. 
the miniature and the standard poodle. The Zarpe. Thank you very much, the rest. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for these other best of breed winners as they leave the ring. So as the dogs settle down at the far end, I'm sure our judge, Rodney Olden, is going to have one last look and move them again. This is your chance to really show your appreciation for the work these best of breeds are doing. So the first dog to move again is the Miniature Poodle. The Miniature Poodle sent through by Peter Young, 5954. Round we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best of breed winning miniature poodle. Now it's the turn of the Zarpe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Judged today by Paul Harding. This is a dog. 6139. Six one three nine, the best of breed winning Zarpe. The standard poodle, judged by Wayne Pavitt, another dog, five nine nine four. In fact, of the eight shortlisted dogs, we have six males and two females. So let's hear it for this dog as he goes round the standard poodle, 5994. The Akita, judged by Maria Hardy. Another male, 5261. The best of breed winning Akita. The French Bulldog, the choice of Francis Kral. Another male, 5597. Best of breed winning French Bulldog. The German Spitz Klein, judged by Ernie Patterson, the bitch, 5669. The German Spitz Klein. So the girls are sticking together because the Kaysund is also a girl. Let's hear it for the best of breed winning Kaysund. Sent through by Robin Newhouse, number 5802. The best of breed winning Kays Hall. And the last of the shortlisted dog, the Laza Apso. John Charles was the judge. This is a dog, 5845. The best of breed winning, Laza Apso. So that's the last dog to move from this short list of eight from the 21 originals. So if we could have the boards into the middle of the ring, please. Very soon we will know who the fourth dog will be to join the Irish Water Spaniel, the Whippet and the Chinese Crested from days one and two.
So as the boards come into place, it looks like Rodney's made his mind up, and the winner of the utility group, Windsor 2013, is the Standard Poodle. The Standard Poodle, number 5994, in second spot. It's the German Spitz Klein. German Spitz Klein, 5, a 6, a 6, 9. And in third, third in the group, it's the Lazar Apso, 5, 8, 4, 5. And in fourth spot, It's the Miniature Poodle, number 5954. Well done to the Zarpe, the Akita, the French Bulldog and the Kazan. But extra specially well done to the Standard Poodle. So if we could ask you to take them round, please. Lap of honour for these winners in the utility group. The Standard Poodle, the German Spitzkind, the Lazar Apso and the Miniature Poodle. Well done all. Can we also have the Terrier puppies, please, to 